There's been a lot of buzz on Twitter and the internet about autopilot and FSD and the drive to get Elon to reduce the nag. And what do I mean by nag? Well, when you're an autopilot, every now and then you have to put some pressure on the wheel to tell it that you're there. Now, for a while now, they've enabled the front camera here in the car that's supposed to be looking at my face and it's supposed to be utilizing that information to determine whether or not it should nag at me or not and I have a theory I don't know if it's right but uh, a lot of people seem to think that it is also true is whether or not wearing sunglasses limits the amount of times you get the nag well anecdotally it seems that it does help so I'm gonna actually put it to the test and try and make it as scientific as possible and see does it actually have an effect come along for the ride now, in order to make this test as scientifically accurate as possible, I'm going to be using one of these, which is a sexy button from Enhance. And I have this set up to basically acknowledge the nag so I won't need to touch the wheel at all unless there's some sort of safety issue I need to deal with. Um, I don't want to run the risk of accidentally bumping it. Now, in this first test, I'm going to use a clock on my dash and I'm going to hit the lap time every time I see the nag pop-up telling me to put pressure on the wheel and as soon as I see it I'm gonna press this button I'm gonna hit the lap timer and we're gonna do this for probably I don't know 15 20 miles and record the results and from there we'll do the exact same thing under exact same conditions wearing sunglasses and see if that gets any better so let's get at it now the conditions aren't going to be absolutely identical because we have various types of traffic going on but we're going to start from this stoplight here and travel north as far as we can go as soon as the light turns green I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot here and then hit start just as we get past this light all right test on I'm gonna do the best I can to keep my eyes straight forward and try to use my peripheral vision to see when the nag does pop up to put pressure on the wheel. And every time that happens, I will go ahead and hit the lap button here so we can keep a running log of how often it happens. have one four-way stop here and that might throw some things off but the test will be the same both with and without sunglasses so hopefully we'll be able to have a decent comparison. get over and uh, the lane changed and it was doing some strange things as far as getting over and uh, so it was a second or so late in pressing that button but this isn't that scientific but we should have enough to go on and I will say that I am running the latest FSD beta that I just got today on October 23rd 2023 so we have all of the latest and greatest in this car as far as testing whether or not the nag is different with sunglasses on or not. That one was quick, although I wonder if it was because we had the car on the right hand side. Don't know. Okay, we are going to break out and stop here. We're going to turn around and do this test again on the way back. Alright, headed back. Autopilot on. One thing that makes this test a little annoying is that the car still has a tendency to want to ride in the 
fast lane of the interstate here and um, every time I change lanes manually I'm basically acknowledging the nag and throwing off this test so I have to just let it sit there and, which isn't ideal it's not unsafe but it's definitely not ideal and the people aren't happy with that You may notice on the video that I may be a little slow in reacting to a couple of these prompts because I'm really not trying to look at the screen at all. I'm trying to use my peripheral vision so the camera sees me paying attention to the road all the time. Wow, there's a big difference between what we're seeing now and uh, what we saw on the way north and I wonder if it's because we're going into sunlight and the cameras are having a little harder time seeing what's going on. It's an interesting piece of data there. Really trying to let the car do its own thing here. Um, it is stuck behind slower traffic and it doesn't seem to want to go around. Next snag, I'll go ahead and tell it to uh, get over. Coming up to that same four-way stop, just in the other direction, you can see we've almost doubled the amount of nags, and we're not even all the way back yet. seem to be going under 20 seconds, which is quite short. All right, we are approaching our end point here, and then we're just going to uh, change things out. So we'll catch that one as the last nag ahead and see what we can do here with sunglasses. We're back to our starting point. We're going to do the exact same test, but this time we're going to wear sunglasses. So the camera can't see my eyes. And does that have an effect? Let's find out. All right, starting the test. Now that I wear my sunglasses, I can actually kind of look at the screen a little bit more. I can't see my eyes so these numbers may be a little more accurate but because I'm doing the test probably not the best time I think on the last run was about a minute 40 this is our very first one here and we're already approaching that Oh, there we go, 140. Let's see if that holds. We're at the same four-way stop again. That last run was also about a minute 40. Seems to be pretty consistent, about a minute 40, minute 38. All right, that one was full two minutes. All right, we are approaching our same turnaround. Had a two minute and 13 second delay between eggs there on that last one, and that was actually quite spectacular in comparison. All right, turning around. Reset, start, go. This time we're going into the sun, which previously would nag a heck of a lot more on the way back the first time wearing regular glasses. Let's see what happens with the sunglasses. 
It's actually 55 here. Somehow it thinks it's 25. Probably just screwed up that number, but we'll average it out. Still driving into the sun, I would say the conditions are almost identical to what they were about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. We are approaching slow traffic here. Welcome to Iowa. It's fall. Good cars going around it. Every time you touch the wheel, whether it be changing lanes or changing your speed or changing your volume of your radio, it does satisfy the nags. I'm trying to do that as little as possible. So when I'm acknowledging these nags, I'm changing lanes to try to get over into the slow lane and not annoy everybody around me. I've been marginally successful with that. test is over it is clear at least from a non-scientific point of view that wearing sunglasses at least in this test made a significant difference how much of a difference well we have to wait till we get back to the lab to run the numbers and uh, check back with you in just a hot second with the stats well i'm back home and i've had a chance to crunch the numbers and the numbers are pretty clear let me run it down for you first without sunglasses going north the average length of time between nags was 58 seconds and going south it was far worse it was only 22 seconds so a total overall average of 32 seconds between nags and also the total number of nags on that trip was 32 as well now when sunglasses were put on the numbers were quite different going north the average length of time was 108 seconds going south even better at 113 seconds which is a total average of 110 seconds total number of nags dropped dramatically down to 10. so what does this mean it means that when i am wearing sunglasses i am 3.4 times less likely to get nagged while driving and the total number of nags on that short trip was one-third the amount without the sunglasses so there you have it the numbers don't lie now, while it's absolutely clear that wearing sunglasses while using autopilot or FSD is definitely an autopilot hack for decreasing the nag, but one of the things that it also works particularly well with when using FSD is when you need to glance down at your screen because when you're wearing regular glasses or no glasses at all, FSD is really, really touchy when you take your eyes off the road. I have a hard time of adjusting the music selection or the temperature or doing just about anything that takes more than about a half a second and the car is constantly yelling at me to pay attention and if that happens too often you're going to get a knockout and you get enough knockouts you're going to lose your FSD but wearing sunglasses it doesn't yell at you um, you can actually look at it quite directly and use your judgment on what you consider safe to make the adjustments that you need on the screen all right there you have it sunglasses do make a difference in reducing the nag for autopilot and fsd give it a try for yourself i think you'll have similar results if you don't or if you do leave comments below and let me know what your experience is like hope you enjoyed this video if you did i'd appreciate you hitting that like button and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and if you're looking to pick up a tesla on your own because let me tell you fsd and autopilot are absolutely amazing Make sure you use a referral link. Any referral link will do, but you want to use one that I have below in the description, that would be great. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.